can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Alright guys, so Jonathan just pulled- Yeah, I know. Look <laughs> at Jonathan's face. What is going on? What is that? Like, no disrespect, but why is that car in front of our ship? Oh! <laughs> What's up, Sam? What's going on? What's going on? So, uh, he came in the truck. Oh, you have your hood? Yes. Damn! Oh, you have a hood. Oh, are we putting that on? Yes. Oh, you're saying forget the carbon? Yes. You're over it? Over it. Over it. So, I'm you're gonna go back to OEM. I might have to get an M4 bumper, just saying. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be- Dude, this paint's actually immaculate. And you get the OEM logo yeah. on? That's the main thing. Yeah. Cool. Dude, I forgot this guy's got a truck. Uh, let's get my tool bag out and let's go, let's go ahead and start working on uh, this guy's car. Yeah, it's about time to get this thing on the road. All right, guys. So, Jonathan's piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Serious piece of shit. So, um, oh, we got Devon's 335. So we went ahead and already fixed the airbag. Huh? Oh yeah, they're all N50. That's that's a lot of toxicity happening. It is awesome. We gotta bring this guy in. He's dying. It sucks to open it. For, you have to unlock it from the outside. Yeah. Anywho, so you have three N54s. This one's good now. This one we got everything good to go. This one, um, we're gonna swap out the hood and just do all the engine stuff. So we might as well take off the hood, so we don't have to have it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Might as well. Yeah. And you gonna put it up for sale or what? Yeah. All right, it is what it is. So if you guys need a carbon fiber hood, the fitment ain't the greatest, but that's what happens when you go with aftermarket. But for the most part, the hood's in good shape. It's just some, it's just pretty dirty. He just want to get oh, he has the OEM hood, so he wants to put it back on. I think it's also gonna be more flush. But this is carbon. So if you guys need a carbon hood, hit me up down below. I actually have your Instagram. Hit up his Instagram down below. And uh, yeah, just you guys can do your magic, negotiate, do your thing. But um, right, let's get the show on the road. Alright, guys. So you got a charge pipe from Burger Tuning. All the hoses, clamps, and everything. And we also have a blow off valve, a tile blow off valve. I'm not really sure if this is the OEM one, but this is the same exact order that I placed on my T35. And this sounded great, and it worked great. So that's what we're going with. But yeah, without further ado um let's go ahead and get to it let's do it oh we got to first remove the hood Alright guys, so we already placed a blow off valve charge pipe. We got the OEM hood on. Look at the fit, man. It looks 20 times. Guys, dude, see, come here. The car looks so much better. With the white halos? Uh, Tell me that doesn't look good. That's nice, dude. That looks good. Dude, the white halos looks bomb. Damn, looking like a clean title. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, take it out for a spin, let y'all know if it's still boost leak. And uh, if not, mission success. If so, we'll go ahead and replace the vacuum hoses and take it out for another spin. Now, as you guys can see, no lights on the dash. Nick went ahead and cleared that TP mess as well. So uh, Thanks, let's hope Nick. to God. Yeah, shout out to Nick. We already got some mods on yet. Let's hope to God this thing runs like a drink because that would be that would be perfect. That was a barely any throttle. You heard that. No, I heard you it. know you heard that. I heard that. <laughs> I'm getting a lot more throttle response yeah. right off the bat. Dude, the dance, you see that right and there? The black mirrors? Oh, dude, it has that. And the wheels are the That's me. Bro, this is the Ozzy 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 Check engine. Yeah. Oh. Engine up there. But it's just a service engine. Yo. Huh. It's not a boot. We finally got a light. Oh, is that a good thing? It's a great thing. That now means the boot leak was fixed. 
So now it found something else. Oh. It actually found a problem. That's okay, actually gonna, that's gonna give us a code. Okay, that's actually good then. That's really good. Was, Two eight eight seven. All right, guys. So I have to take it out for the drive and everything. It felt pretty well until like just recently where I took it out. I got the check engine light again, but it threw a code, and it threw a code for a two a eighty seven and a thirty one hundred. And I'm assuming that's Vanoss. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the Vanoss, clean it. The two Vanosses are right there. I'm hoping his engine's not too hot. We can go ahead and pull those out, clean them up, throw them back in, take it out for a spin. And if that still doesn't work, we'll go ahead and swap it out with like another N54 car. And if that doesn't work, it may be a little bit more serious than we thought. So we just went ahead and used brake cleaner on both solenoids. Hopefully this works. I went ahead and just pretty much cleaned it off. I also cleaned the sensor where it connects as well. Um, I also used it on the actual connected the subs because they were drenched in oil, even the inner and everything. So hopefully we hook it all back up and it will work for the most part. If not, I mean, it might make it might make you feel better. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I would clean these regardless. So anywho, we're about to throw them back in. It's gonna give it a little bit more longer to dry and then uh, we'll take it out for a spin. Hopefully we just replaced the Vanoss. Hopefully this works. I'll, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. And guys, we just came back from a drive and dude, it was a lot better. It was hey. It was so, like you actually felt it. It felt yeah, really good. And then crazy. out of nowhere, check engine light. Um, so no, no lint mode. Engine. Yeah, there's no service engine, no but service the check engine, engine light came on. Lint mode, mode whatever. went away after turn off, turn back on. So still could be the Vanoss. So we're gonna go ahead, just to roll that out, I'm gonna take it out of uh, his car because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have that issue. Shout out to Devon, I'm sorry dude. But he always takes things out of my car, so I think it, it's fair and square. So <laughs> let's go ahead and take out his engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we don't need no stuff from an N52. It's all good. So we just removed the uh, the Vanoss from, uh, what's his name? Devon's car, we moved it over to his car. So hopefully that's the thing. But at the same time, let's go ahead and replace the vacuum lines. As you guys can see, here picked up a buttload. Wow. So um, we're gonna go ahead and replace the vacuum lines that go from the canisters to the boost solenoids, and then the ones that go from the bottom of the canisters to uh, this pipe right here. So let's go ahead and replace all those and just get a peace of mind. Um, Sierra did check the one that goes down to the wastegate, so that one's fine. So as long as Erlon, as long as checked it. Yeah, you can check that. So as long as we get everything else, at least we know it's not the vacuum lines too. So end of the day, if the van house doesn't fix it, all that stuff we replaced over there doesn't fix it 100%. <laughs> it honestly could have a crack um, intake manifold. Intake manifold, because we did hear a little bit of a, like we felt wind come from the back of it. We don't know if that's normal because when you when you floor it, you hear, uh, you feel wind come out of the intakes. That's normal, 50-50, we'll see. Hopefully this, this all this will fix it. Let's Hopefully. just go ahead and replace all these, uh, Back. We're getting super close. That's we're so crazy. close. Like it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's boosting. It is. It wasn't boosting before. It's boosting now. So that's great. So that means turbos are good. Engine's good. It's just some kind of stupid leak somewhere. having way too much fun. <laughs> Careful, this guy's doors up. Is it? We're good. Dude, what? No way. Dude, we're good. There's no way. Dude, we're <laughs> come up, dude. Holy baloney. All right, cool. Bro, we were bashing it the whole dude. time. Yeah, we were driving it so hard. Bro, that's it. That's it. So we figured, again, no check engine light, no service engine. This is a perfectly running N54. I know, it's a perfectly running N54. So guys, guys, right here, in this video right here, I'm about to tell y'all something. A little secret, a little sun sun. You guys know I've never put a JB4 on my car, mainly because I'm afraid to blow my turbos. But this guy right here has a JB4 tune. So if you guys want to see the JB4 tune put on this car, we go, we can go straight stage two, right? 
Because he, he doesn't have catalyst. Oh, we can go stage one, but then we'll, we'll turn on burbles. Yeah. And we'll have a little bit of fun. So if you guys want to see that in the next video or in a couple videos, it really depends. You know, if you guys can get this video to 1,500 likes, we'll do just that. So if you guys want to see a JB Fortune on CS335 and it possibly blows turbos, make sure to smash that like button. And without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth